Good evening, everybody. Get situated here. I got my really pretty makeup light. So you guys can see me because it's dark outside. Where's my water? Wait for everybody to get on. Hi, Teresa. Questions for you, Teresa. <laughs> hi, Megan. Hi, Amber. Hi, JD. Hi, Carolyn. Yay, you guys are all live. Hi, Sarah. We'll wait like two minutes for everybody to get on. Um, hi, Andrea. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Vicki. <laughs> Do you guys like my behind the scenes picture? I have makeup all over my husband's desk, so hopefully I don't spill anything because this is his workstation. <laughs> Hi Mandy, what time is it for you? Eight, nine, girl, you're up late. <sighs> Richard. <laughs> makeup free. You guys are special. Nobody sees me without makeup usually. Hi, Jamie. Mandy. Okay. So, just a couple housekeeping things while people get on. Um, some, one, one person is going to win a little prize for staying on until the end, and your comments or questions or whatever, um, even a heart or something, will um, enter you in. So, stay with me, hopefully. But this will be recorded and we'll post that in Chasing Wellness. So if you have to drop, drop off or if you know people who wanted to get in, um, yeah, we'll have the recording. And this light looks like I have something on my face. I will have something on my face in a second. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else did I say in the, um, in the event? I don't know what I was going to say, but. Let's get started because I want to respect your time and I want to um, just stop at 9 o'clock Pacific so that y'all can go to bed. And our kids are on spring break so they're um, going to be up late. So anyway, my name is Shannon and I have to laugh because um, I have no business teaching a makeup class. And I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, about the makeup and, you know, how do you use it? There's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to uh, mineral makeup. But then I thought, wait, I have every business teaching a makeup class because I'm not a makeup artist and I'm going to assume that most of you guys aren't either. So um, uh, we're not doing glam and I'm just a mom, right? And so I think that kind of resonates because when I watch makeup tutorials and there's all kinds of stuff, I'm like, I don't even know, like I'm not even ever going to do that. Um, unless I'm going to go out and let's be honest when's the last time I've been out it has been a very long time so we're gonna do we're talking mom makeup and if you're not a mom we're talking um, just like uh, easy uh, everyday makeup that's what we're talking about tonight the cool thing is is that you can glam this up layering and build up that all the colors are buildable all the makeups beautiful buildable and it's so forgiving so um, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, just like why we want to use chemical free makeup. We'll go into some just general skincare tips um, uh, Makeup tools color matching and then we'll and then I'll do my face. All right, so please um, ask questions and Mandy aren't the brushes amazing. I know they're just amazing. Okay, so question why do you wear makeup? So um, I want to know why do you wear makeup? So put that in the comments and um, yeah, I'm just curious. I will answer first. Um, I wear makeup because it just makes me feel a little bit more confident. I purposely don't wear a lot of makeup because I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. Um, I think honestly everybody is beautiful the way that God made them. Um, but I think makeup just gives you a little bit more confidence. Right, Sarah, so just to feel a little bit better about yourself. Um, but what I don't want is 
you know, that masky look so that when people see me without makeup, they're not like, oh my goodness, who are you? You look like a totally different person. So yes, to make you look more feminine, to feel like I'm alive, to hide the dark circles, right? <laughs> um, so I look younger than my daughter. Right, Teresa, Teresa, you're amazing. You look amazing. To help me look more alive, less tired looking. Yes, yes, all the yes, okay? So um, makeup is amazing for that. So um, I like to say it's just you, but just a little bit more fancy, right? Especially when my daughter's watching, um, I don't want her to think that you need makeup at all to feel, um, to feel beautiful, but it does make you feel a little bit um, better about yourself. And um, I get the, I have the hereditary dark circles under my eyes, so I need makeup. Um, okay, unfortunately, Drugstore makeup and most of the makeup on the market has all kinds of nasty ingredients and I had no idea nor did I give it any thought until this year. Um, sorry, 2017. So um, uh, the ingredients in most makeup so that you're going to get at the drugstore or um, even at the, the beauty counter at Macy's or, or um, a department store um, has ingredients that, that in, impact our reproductive systems. Um, human development, so I, I, it, my heart goes out to teenagers that are starting to play with makeup, so it affects development, organs, um, a lot of the ingredients are linked to cancer, neurological problems, um, they disrupt hormones, infertility, and da da da, they age your face. So we're putting on makeup to hide imperfections, and we're putting on skincare to, um, you know, help our face you know slow down the aging process and yet all those things are speeding up the aging process we don't want to do that right we want to look as young as we possibly can or at least you know just not speed up the aging process I mean we're all gonna age we're all gonna get wrinkles it's part of life um, but let's just like not speed it up right so um, some of those chemicals are petrochemicals um, so that's like petroleum. It comes from petroleum and it can cause breakouts, premature, premature aging, um, talc. So there's huge thing about talc and like baby powder. It's so bad. And um, that can cause um, organ system toxicity. It's a known carcinogen. So anything with talc in it. Um, phthalates, so we talked about that in the chemical free home class. So um, phthalates are toxic to the reproductive system, affect development. Um, especially childbearing mamas, so it, it affects hormones and fertility even. Um, there's tons more um, products or tons more chemicals um, that we could go over, but um, Savvy Minerals, which is what we're going over today, is a chemical-free line of makeup um, from Young Living, and it is free of gluten, so they're gluten-free. Um, no nanoparticles, uh, which get into the bloodstream and wreak havoc on your body. Um, no metals, no synthetic dyes, no synthetic fragrances, which ooh, ooh, that's my big one is fragrance, and no bismuth. So bismuth is in a lot of the mineral makeup. Um, it is a filler and it causes, um, it can cause breakouts all over the place. So um, Young Living is free of all of that. And what's cool is that their makeup actually contains ingredients that benefit the skin. So we're not taking away, we're actually adding to it when we're using makeup. Amazing, I know. So. Um, well, they have essential oils in them, of course, because most of the products do have essential oils in them. Um, An aspen bark extract, which is a skin softening um, uh, ingredient and acts as a natural preservative. So instead of the phthalates, um, they use aspen bark extract to preserve the, the product. Um, kaolin clay, which is for the mineral, and it um, just kind of like charcoal, if you think about charcoal or clay, it, it draws out impurities. From the pores so it's actually helping your skin um, but it's but it's helping it to adhere to your skin too um, mica which is a pigment so it gives it that pigment and it's perfectly safe for your skin um, of course minerals and no non nano ingredients we don't want nano particles um, which are those things that really um, get into the bloodstream and um, cause all kinds of stuff okay so let's talk about a couple like when we're talking about our skin Let's talk about a couple tips, which you guys all know, it's simple, but it's not easy, right? So diet, diet is huge when we're talking about our skin. So what you eat matters big time. Drinking water matters big time. So we wanna have lots of fresh vegetables, 
um, and fruits, water, and um, uh, take our supplements, and then um, stress. Stress impacts our skin hugely, and we can't cut out a lot of our stress, but we can do things to self-care, right? Um, really big on that. So um, taking those deep breaths, taking time for yourself, doing what, finding a hobby, doing something that you love, finding ways to reduce stress, and of course, use your oils, right? So check out the feelings. Um, when we talked about the emotions, like the feelings kit, and there's oils that can help stress away, right? What is your favorite stress relieving oil? Just comment while I'm talking. Let's get some ideas going. Um, so did you know that stress can elevate hormone levels and um, making you more prone to acne, psoriasis, and premature aging? So stress alone can age you big time. And that's just gonna impact your skin and the way you look and then you don't feel good. So um, do whatever it takes to get your sleep, to cut down your stress, to eat better and drink more water. Um, one of the biggest things I've noticed um, with my skin, and we'll just talk about skin, the oils that I use topically on my skin, um, before we dive into the makeup, the big ones for me are frankincense. So frankincense is the top skin oil. Yes, forgiveness, Kathy. Um, frankincense is the top skin oil. It helps with evening out. It helps with discoloration. It helps with sunspots. Um, wrinkles so frankincense is, is an amazing um, oil to incorporate into your um, skincare regimen and, and honestly what I do I put it on morning and night um, along with for me myrrh and then patchouli and I forgot to bring the patchouli out here and um, I put a couple drops in my hand I get the other hand wet I rub it together and I put it on my face after I cleanse my face I do that morning and night, and then what do we do always? Breathe in those oils. Loyalty is amazing too. Yes, Shay, stress away, frank purification. Awesome, awesome. Um, so incorporating oils um, into your skincare regimen and can also impact your emotions and help de-stress. So I don't know any other product on the market that does all of that. So use your oils. Um, other skin oils, um, I mentioned lavender, frank, myrrh patchouli, geranium, and um, ylang ylang are all amazing um, oils to use on your face. Um, another uh, great serum type products are Mira Shave Oil, so a lot of people love to put this on their face. It is luxurious. Yes, it's for shaving, but it, people use it to take off their makeup. People use it to um, like moisturize their face along with essential beauty serum. So these are two serum types that you don't have to do yourself. You could just buy them and they're really affordable actually and will last you forever. So take care of your skin. Lots and lots of um, ways to do that. Yes, we love Mira Shave Oil. Okay, so we've talked about our skin and let's go into the importance of our tools before we get into the makeup. So your brushes matter, especially when you're working with mineral makeup. So um, how many of you have used mineral, mineral makeup before? So I was a um, bare minerals user before, I, before um, uh, Savvy Minerals came out. So I was already used to that and the brushes are everything. Okay, so um, you can go to like Walmart or something and, and get the brushes, but they're not gonna be as good and your the application isn't gonna be as great. So, Young Living has a, um, a kit, a makeup brush kit that you can purchase and it has five brushes in it. And it's just beautiful, you guys. It's got um, this holder and then uh, like a little thing to put some of your makeup in. So this is like fantastic, it fits, you can, just throw your makeup in here and go for travel. So, but it has um, a big fluffy brush, which is like so luxurious. A blush brush, two eyeshadow brushes, and then the foundation brush. And if you buy one, if you, you have to have the foundation brush, that is like the anchor for everything. Um, so there's a kit we'll talk about at the end that comes with the foundation brush, or you can get this, um, this brush kit. And, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about that, but it'll come back to me. Okay, so um, the tools matter, and then you can go on and get, I'll just talk about the brushes as I use them, 
and then I'll tell you which one comes in um, the brush kit and which one you need to buy separately, okay? So um, let's get into color matching. There's a couple things that that you need to that you can do to kind of identify what in general the best color would be for you, okay? Um, check your veins, okay? So if you look at your wrist, the inside of your wrist, um, are your veins, hi Stacy, are your veins um, greenish or bluish purple? So if you, if you see like more of a green hint, then you would be in general a warm, and I will say there's exceptions to every rule, right? So in general, if you have greenish veins, you're a warm, and then if you have blue or purple, then you are a cool, okay? Another way to look at is um, your, the natural undertones. So um, like we tend to, it's like the undertones of your skin. So like yellow, peachy, golden undertones, you're a warm. And then of course like pinky, red, or bluish undertones, you would be a cool. Um, jewelry. So what, uh, what, do, what do you look better um, with gold? then that would be a warm, or silver, then that would be a cool. So we all kind of know um, which, you know, which jewelry we're drawn to. Um, favorite colors to wear. So favorite like neutral shades that you generally um, move towards. So um, like it says, do your eyes, skin, and face look better in browns or tans? Then you would be a warm. So like those creamy neutrals, like the browns and the tans, or white and black then you would more likely be a cool. If you look really good in, in white or really good in black, a lot of times you will be a cool. Um, your eye and hair color. Um, so warm toned people generally have um, brown, amber, or hazel eyes and um, strawberry blonde, straw, so like darker hair, so like red, brown, or black hair. So. Um, Uh, sorry, red, brown, black hair with like kind of goldish, like warm undertones, okay? And then um, uh, cools tend to have like blue eyes and um, like more black hair, brown or blonde with like violet and ash and, and purple, purpley tones. So like kind of that richer um, with those like blues and purple tones, okay? And then finally, this is the one that I always ask is what happens when you're in the sun? Do you tan or do you burn? And if you tan, you tend to be more of a warm. And then if you burn easily, you tend to be a cool. Okay, so I'm a warm for sure. And I knew that the minute I looked at the colors, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a warm because the cools tend to be kind of pinky and I know that I don't do that. But that really helps most people. It resonates with them when you ask them what happens when you're in the sun. Okay, so um, Young Living's products are, um, their makeup line is broken into three kind of sections. There's the cools, there's the warms, and there's the darks. And the darks are like really dark. So like African-American skin, um, and then, um, honestly, the cools and the warms are extremely forgiving and that's what's cool. Like I bought the whole line when it came out because I wanted everybody to be able to play with it and I can use cool three and I can use warm two and it's not, I can build with the cools and I'm happy with it. So, um, my best advice is don't freak out. Um, but they have these kits that are available that really, um, kind of make the selection process easy and we'll talk about that. Okay, moving on, let's talk about, let's just talk about foundation as we're, um, let's just start, shall we? Um, so we've got 40 minutes and I wanna make sure that um, I stick to that time. All right, we're gonna get out the, um, the foundation brush. So um, the foundation brush looks like this and it's sort of flat and tight. So a lot of people I have seen, they're like, well, I have my own brushes and they'll use something that's more like this, which is kind of like floppy. Um, that's not gonna get that mineral makeup into your pores. So either invest in a foundation brush or if you're using a bigger brush, you want to like make it tight, 
this is like huge, so that's kind of hard. But you want to make it tight when you're using it so that it can get in your pores. So that's um, kind of my best advice for you there. Okay, foundation brush and misting spray. This is the key right here, these two. Okay, this is the key to your success. So the misting spray is amazing. And what that does is this is going to give you that, it's going to help the mineral makeup stick to your face, okay? And um, you just, you 100% need this. Um, it, it, allows, it, it allows it to get um, past like the tiny hairs on your face, so it allows it to stick in there and stay longer. And it also nourishes your skin. So this misting spray has, oh my goodness, it has so many. I have to, I have to even smell it. It smells so good. Oh, it has geranium, bergamot, cedarwood, black spruce, orange, lavender, lime, vanilla, sage, Akatea and rose. So remember when I said how this stuff is actually helping your face? For real. So this is incredible. Um, a lot of people make their own spray. This is unmatched. And this is $15. This right here. I bought this in June last year. What is it? March? So I legit probably started using it. Let's say I got it end of June. So like really July, it's March you guys, it's almost April. This is gonna last you forever and it has so many amazing um, oils in here and it works so well. So get, get the misting spray for sure. And so what you're gonna do when you're, when you're working, there's two different ways to really use this misting spray. Um, most people, and I'll show you the main way and then I'll show you the other way that a lot of people um, do it. So. I'm going to use warm too because I'm a warm. I have blue eyes and darker hair so some people might say I'm a cool but I tan really easily and I have greenish veins and I look better with gold. So, um, And then I just looked at it I'm like oh yeah I know. I will be posting pictures in the event to help you color match um, so don't worry and um, I can meet with you guys and kind of figure out what you want. but. Um, so what you're gonna do is you have your you have your mineral makeup and you're just gonna tap a little bit like just tap 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 a little bit into the lid, okay? Can you guys? See? Oh, that light. Oh, you can kind of see it. Okay, so it's in there. And then once you have that in there, you're going to spritz your brush, okay? One or two times, okay? So we spritzed our brush, and then you're going to put it in here and then you're gonna tap on the side. Okay, and then you're just gonna start putting it on in circles. Okay, that's the key. So we're not um, putting it on like, oh my gosh, you can see the dark circles under my eyes now. That's crazy. Let's put some makeup on and cover that up. Um, so we're putting it on in circles and you're gonna put that, you know, all over your face. Okay, I find that, I mean, this goes like seriously a really long way and depending on where you're going you can build you can layer um, the makeup uh, the the foundation so um, some people even mix so you guys we're not gonna do a mask right so we're gonna blend down here too and you can even like put a little bit on your um, eyes to kind of prime that for okay so like honestly that's all I do for during the day right when I'm gonna drop the kids off at school okay all right so then you can go back and depending on if you have any spots and I like we got to cover this up right like that is not okay thanks mom for the dark circles get those all the time I love my mom okay now there's a special brush that does not come in the makeup kit and it is a concealer brush so you buy this separately and this has um, it's that looks like it has a blue paint on it but it really doesn't it's just the light in here so it's flat and kind of um, you know a little bit bigger and so I'm using warm warm one because a lot of you want it to be a little bit lighter than the rest so warm one and I'm gonna do what's called baking okay with mineral makeup what you can do um, this is for like spot treatments or um, like on dark circles you put kind of a heavy 
what can you use? Like, you put kind of a heavy um, layer, uh, kind of put it on a little bit heavy under your eyes, okay? Or wherever, like, let's say, like, you know, you have a little spot. And then you're gonna let it sit or bake on your face. And what that's doing is it's like getting into your pores and the heat of your of your face is like having it bake on your face. So then it's gonna stay, it's gonna give it that coverage, all right? So I get sunspots right here. So I like to, um, you know, bake a little bit right here. And again, like if you have any, um, we will fix this in a second. Okay, I, I told you that the other thing that I, um, th there's people that like to use, like if you really love um, liquid foundation, you can spray into here, spray into your lid, and am I still using the foundation? Yes, I'm using warm, I used warm one, under my eyes and warm two on my face. Yes, you use the foundation for baking. Oh, that's the that's not that. So, so, so I sprayed in here, and then you can put a little bit of the um, of your foundation. Tap it in, and then it kind of turns it a little bit more liquidy. So if you want more coverage, do it that way. Because and then you know put it on, and it feels a lot more wet. All right, and then that. Um, yeah, like if you're going out or whatever, you just really wanted to. So that's just a preference thing and play around with it. All right? Okay. So, like, I'm good, right? Here's the cool thing. You can still see freckles and all that. It's like not masky. It's not sitting there just like, ugh. It looks like my skin. It's so amazing, you guys. I just, I cannot say enough. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do bronzer. Uh, if you guys contour, you're amazing because that's just way too much for me. But I did learn um, the bronzer. So I'm using for bronzer, it is called Crowned All Over. That is probably the most neutral one. If you are, um, there's another one called Summer Loved which is darker and like in the summer that might be what you want but for me like especially winter um you know and our skin is like pasty white out here in the pacific northwest um crowned all over is one that i that i'm really happy with and it's just it's just kind of the one that most people start with at least and you want to make a three on your face like a backwards three if you're looking at this so, um, like, uh, I thought you put it, like, all over, but you want to put it, like, under, oh, like, when you like this, mm-hmm, like, under your cheekbone. So, what it does, don't worry, I'll blend, but what it does is it, it, um, highlights your cheekbone, and it, and it just, it gives it a little bit more definition, especially if you have a fuller face. Um, that's a really neat way to do it. So, and then you can like, so I said a three, right? So one, that's like your three and like down here. Um, and like over here, uh -huh. you can even do a little bit on your nose and your chin and your forehead because that's where the sun hits. And then um, like contouring, you know, people put them, put it like right here and right here. Mama ain't going to do that. I just look like I'm putting on war paint and that just is in like little sequin Washington. I ain't contouring. <laughs> right, JD? She laughs. She, she makes fun of our town's name. Um, okay. So I might touch up later, but what I always tend to do is go back with the, the foundation brush and just kind of blend it in. Remember we're doing circles and then you can just keep, keep going. Okay. Um, okay, so that is the um, the bronzer, and so you can contour if you want. <laughs> See, Quim, that's right. Um, okay, so shall we go to eyes? I am very intimidated by eyes. I am amazed by people that do all that funky stuff on their eyes, and they make it look so easy, and then I'm like, 
It doesn't look, I mean, I don't know. It does not look like that on me. So we're doing basic, ladies, basic. Um, the two or three colors that, um, that I generally would recommend putting all over your eyes, um, you have some options and it really depends. There's, there's choices that are like shiny. They have a little bit of shine and then there's matte choices. So really like the matte one, I don't know if you guys, gosh, this is like, you can't see it. This looks white, but it's not. This is called Wanderlust. So that's a really good, actually that's kind of a lighter one. Um, take, I take that back. Best kept secret is the one that most people put all over. I actually really like residual too. That's more of a, sh uh, a shiny, um, what's the word? Matte or um, what's, what's is, it's not shiny, that's not the word. Yeah, Kathy, why don't you get on and do a crease tutorial sometime for us, okay? We'll, we'll like, let's create a makeup group and we'll like do tips. How about we do that? Um, okay, right, Kathy? Okay, so we're going back to the brush kit and that has two different brushes in it. It has sparkly shimmer. Sarah, ding, 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 ding. Thanks, Manny, <laughs> sparkly. Okay, um, this one is more flat. Okay, it's like flat and tight, and this one is more like fluffy, right? So I'm gonna use the fluffy one to put that all over my lid, and I'm gonna just do best kept secret. Okay, so again, we're just, I already did it, but you like just tap it in here, and then get a little bit, and then just get off the excess, because remember we're working with powder, so, um, you know, and a little bit just seriously goes a long way, you guys, it's amazing. Looks like I have eyeshadow on and I don't. But you're just putting it, you know, all over. Okay? So that's kind of your base. You're gonna like prime it, right? And then you can, um, like for me, I look best with plums because I have blue eyes. So um, there's two different, um, <laughs> super sparkly unicorn does. Um, there's two different like purpley ones. Again, um, actually, is there three? I feel like there's another one. What are these? Like this one is diffused. This is a matte. And this one is unscripted. So these are kind of like deep. Can you guys see that? They're kind of like deep purpley. One's darker, one's lighter. There's another one that's like kind of a shimmer purple. Is that, is that determined? No, I don't know where it is. It's like a shimmery purple and I can um, find that. But um, that's where I would use my, this brush to um, add, oh gosh, you guys, I have no business doing this, but I'm just gonna do it anyway um, with the purpley. So, um, you know, we like go in the crease. Kathy, you're probably cringing right now, but whatever. I'm just going for it, right? You guys get on and do this. <laughs> Something like that, right? To kind of like, you just like in the crease. Okay, hey, I'll take that. Inspired. Are you saying that's a color or are you inspired by this? <laughs> so we're doing the, um, yep, we're gonna do a makeup group, guys, and then we can do our, okay. So um, this one is, I'm using diffused. I like it. <laughs> Mandy, that's so funny. Okay, so you can go as dark as you want if, like, I don't know if we're, like, okay, I'm going to pretend like we're going out to the casino or something, which I haven't been in, like, so long. Anyway, you guys get the idea, all right? All right. That's not so bad. Okay. They have like brown, like deep browns. Um, they kind of have like a green shimmer one. So um, you just play around with it and um, yeah, find the ones that you want to play with. Okay, no, go back to my notes. Do this so I don't squirrel, you guys. 
Okay, then you can take um, either the Wanderlust, which is sort of a, a highlighter, and um, we're going to the casino. Well, we have nowhere else to go. <sighs> we really don't. You can take either Wanderlust, which is a high, um, like a really light, or you can take the Diamond Dust. And we'll talk about the Diamond Dust, but it's like basically a white shimmer. And then you can, um, you know, put it up here to like highlight. And, and again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so let's go next and talk about the multitasker, okay? The multitasker is, um, it looks like this. Okay, that's just my lid. Honestly, this multitasker is going to last me the rest of my life. Um, do you use the most for that? Do you use the most for the eyeshadow too? I don't know what that means. Can you clarify, Mandy? Um, so I have the teeniest, teeniest, teeniest bit of the multitasker. You can use the multitasker for your eyeliner and for your eyebrows, and a lot of people use it. Oh, can do you use the mist for the eyeshadow? I do not. Um, I don't use the mist for anything but the foundation, to be honest. Um, I find that it, um, I don't need all the pigment and I just frankly don't have the time. So Kathy's saying, yes, yeah, so you can use the mist for anything if you want that deeper color, but I just, I don't need it. And yeah, I don't need it. Um, so the multitasker. So a lot of people use it for um, eyeshadow a lot of people use it for um, eyeliner and then um, for the eyebrows. I never really realized how important eyebrows were, um, but they really do frame the face. And so Young Living has a, um, you know, like one of these brushes that you can, you know, get your um, eyebrows to where you, um, you know, so they're not so unruly and go get your eyebrows shaped. That's an amazing thing to do and you don't have to do it all the time, but it really makes a huge difference. And then I just grabbed this, um, this makeup brush right here. So you can see it has on one end, it has an angle, it's very tight, okay? And then on this end is um, for eyeliner. So it gives you that really precision, precision um, if you do eyeliner. I don't do eyeliner because time. I love it, I think people look beautiful with it, but I just don't. Um, but I do do my brows, and um, I just get the teeniest, teeniest bit on here. And then um, you can see I just have like unevenness all over. And so I just really, really light. We are not draw. I don't draw because this would be super overwhelming. Um, so like super, super, super light touch and I just go in and fill in my brows. Um, I'm a big, huge fan of eyebrows. I actually notice that on people. It's like one of the first things I notice. Um, another thing that I learned is that you want your brows to kind of go like there, right? Like, do you see where my nose is? Like, that's where you want, <laughs> that looks awesome. Somebody take a picture. Um, that's where you want your eyebrows to um, look or to end and then also like right here. So that's just, and then I think you can sort of do, I don't know where like the arch is, but it really makes like, already it makes a huge difference and I've hardly put anything on. Um, so I've been just playing around with my eyebrows a little bit and um, I do, I feel a lot better when they're, when they're filled in. Um, yeah, hey, hey Shannon, good job. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, oh, I didn't, sh I didn't, um, yeah, okay, and then you can go back and blend, and um, for, like, our blonde peeps who have um, just kind of, like, lighter um, eyebrows, you can actually take some of the foundation and mix it in with the multitasker and then lighten it up that way. Um, one trick that a lot of people like if you are what is the multitasker so I explain it's just um it's just a brown it's just one of these but it's called the multitasker it's a really rich brown and you can use that for eyeshadow you can use it for your brows and so like if that's 
if, if you guys think that's like crazy dramatic, um, you could even go, you know, you could even go over it with like one of your, you know, um, you can also with like one of your, um, uh, brushes, you can also, um, get like a, a, a clean mascara wand and blend it that way. And then you can take the diamond dust again, which is just that it's just like fairy dust, right? And um, you can kind of go, go and sort of around and highlight and just to make it a little bit more um, like shimmery and fun. I love the diamond dust. It's, it's really beautiful. And we'll talk a little bit about how other people use it. One thing that people like to use for yes, you can use it for eyeliner. So if you if you want that liquid, like that staying power for your brows, um, this you can use the misting spray for that. Um, you can also use rose ointment. So rose ointment just looks like that. It's like you can use this for chapstick. This is great for um, like to like wounds, um, like when they're getting uh, like scabby and stuff. Um, so uh, cracked elbows and heels this is amazing for so many things it has the rose oil in it but a lot of people like to um, put a little bit in your hand the rose ointment and then you can put like your multitasker and make a little bit of a paste and then it's sort of like a liquid it will stay forever so you can do that with your eyeliner um, and you can do that with your brows so I could use this for eyeliner too right so I could you know just if I really wanted like just kind of a natural look or I could use this and make it like that you know that cat eye so they have um, jet setter which is black Pff, I haven't even opened this because I just I don't do black but um, I don't you know it, it for people who like to do the cat eye or whatever that would be amazing with this and then the jet setter okay yeah you guys would laugh if I tried to do a cat eye. Um, but I think it's amazing. Okay, so that is eyeliner. I really love this brush, guys. It's really amazing. And the brows. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make sure that I don't forget to blend now. So the, the uh, foundation like underneath, and this is a really good, also a great thing because when you put your um, um, eyeshadow on, a little bit could fall. So this is another way, another reason to do that baking is that then you can um, sort of, you know, brush it away and make sure you don't have any um, residue there, especially if it's dark, right? Because it can fall. The brushes are amazing. Okay, blush. So a blush brush comes in the makeup brush set too. So it looks like this. It's very pretty and it's perfect for the apples of your cheeks. So again, I learned that blush doesn't go up here. Okay, all the way up, just the apples of your cheeks. All right, and um, where is my blush? My most favorite, so have you guys um, heard of, okay, it's called, sorry, it's called Orgasm. It's like, it's by NARS. It's probably, it's, I think it's the best selling blush in the entire world. I used to use it. This is almost the exact same color. It's called I Do Believe You're Blushing. It's amazing. It does have shimmer in it but it's got like warm, it's just, it's, it's so beautiful and I swear it would work on anybody. So if you're wondering what blush to start with, I do believe you're blushing. They have um, ones that have darker pigment, but I, am, I just, I absolutely love it. And again, it just like highlights and it's so pretty. Smile. Okay, so we're only, we're just putting it here and then again, we, we contour with our, cause it makes you look like you've got like really awesome cheekbones. Um, I will tell you that they do make a contour brush. So if you are into contouring, um, is that what I use for my, for my um, bronzer? 
Where's my bronzer? Okay. I use the contouring brush for my bronzer, but this is actually the bronzer brush. Because you can see, it really helps to get that line, but if you're doing contouring, when you're doing like, like all that war paint stuff, that's the contour brush. Um, these both you purchase separately. Okay? But it's worth it. Okay. So, again, most of the time I go back just briefly and I'll just blend with my um, foundation brush. Okay? So that is blush. And let's talk lipstick. I posted a picture. I I do not wear, I am not a lipstick wearer, but I bought all the lipsticks because I went to convention and I just threw down my credit card. Um, so I'm not saying I own all the lipsticks. I just, I just had to. And I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love the makeup. But um, with these, if you're not a lipstick wearer, I highly recommend On A Whim. It's probably the most neutral. And they don't go on like super, super dark pigmenty. Is that the one or is it Wish? Let me make sure. Oh, sorry. Whim is not the, Whim has a little bit more color. Wish is the one that I use, that I like. It's, it's kind of the most neutral. So it looks like, it looks like this, but it goes on It's just not, it's just like a nice, like it's not super, I don't know if I would call it neutral. I mean, it has a little bit of color in it, but it's not like, oh my goodness, Shannon. All I see is your lips talking. Um, and then for lip gloss, if you are a lip gloss person, they have, um, this is more of a pinky, it's called Abundant, and then um, Embrace, which is more of a nude. So I'm more of a, a nude, so... Um, you know, I'll put some of that on and you guys, this has peppermint in it. So it's going to give you that pouty. Um, it's so awesome. I absolutely love the lip gloss. And one of the cool tricks when we went to Portland last weekend, um, she said that she puts, we went to a savvy minerals class and she says that she puts a little bit of thieves right on her lips right there. And it's sort of like burns a little bit but it makes her lips plump up so I haven't tried it but I love that trick I'm like give me the burn I'll do, you know I can handle it so um, and right then it supports my immune system and makes my lips full because I have like bird lips I don't have them like beautiful upper lips or whatever no <laughs> okay um, I'm getting off track here okay so lipstick lip gloss another thing like if you like liner um, a lot of people use this, um, where's that, where's that, um, oh, like this. So maybe they own a couple, I don't know, but they'll use this and they'll put it in blush. So, and then they'll line and color in their lips like that. And, um, then it gives it, and then you put the lip gloss on, it gives it that staying power. So that's the cool thing. You can use all this for everything. You can use the eyeshadow for blush. You can use the blush for lip gloss, lipstick. You can use the multitasker for um, eyeshadow. Um, you can use the eyeshadow for eyebrows. You can, you can use them for so many things. You just play around with it. It's super fun. Um, guys, I'm a little bit flushed. So um, just from being on live and you know your adrenaline's kind of going so um they, it looks like really kind of red but I'm a little flushed so <laughs> um anyway so the last thing is the diamond dust so I did use that to highlight my brows I put a little bit on the top I put a little bit up here to sort of just like you know give my brows that definition and then um what a lot of people do is actually you could take so this is this comes in the um, I, I just you have to do this it's so soft it's so soft you guys seriously this is like amazing and you can take just the tiniest bit I'm 40 so I don't need to be looking like who's a pop star these days I don't know but I don't need to be looking like um, 
I played in my daughter's makeup. She doesn't have makeup, but she loves this stuff. But anyway, you know what I mean. I don't need to be all like sparkly, but I think a little bit of shimmer is beautiful. And so I just got like the tiniest bit on here and it like always just tap, tap, tap. And then you can like highlight, just like highlight your cheekbones. Thank you, Vicky. You guys are so sweet. And so my friend Sarah Benjamin, I don't know if she's on here, but when um, we were, I was at church a couple weeks ago and she gets off stage and I just looked at her and I didn't even know. Now I, I said, Sarah, your skin is absolutely glowing. And she's like, it's the diamond dust, Shannon. And I mean, it was, she just had like the teeniest bit. She actually mixes it in with her blush. So it just hits her, um, her cheekbones right there. Um, I know that Ashley's on here and she actually puts the diamond dust underneath her foundation. And that, um, there, people that have rosacea, I, I'm not saying Ashley has rosacea, but people that have rosacea or a lot of discoloration will actually put the diamond dust on first to give it that color correcting and then the foundation. And that really gives you a nice even and that shimmer is gonna like just come through a little bit. So again, there's so many different ways that you can use. Um, you guys are killing me. It's the makeup. You guys can look like this too. All right. Yeah, see, Ashley says it takes away the redness. So if you have any of that, and then I just like, you know, and then, um, you know, you can, okay, so one more trick and then we're going to talk about the kit and then we're going to wrap up. You can take, did I bring, did I bring my, um, my mascara out here? Hold on. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, it's sitting right in front of me. Okay. Young Living does have mascara, but they're working on a little bit of a reformulation. So I'm using um, like the limelight right now. Um, just try to get a chemical free one. But a really cool trick is that you can take, like you take this brush and you dip it in the, um, the diamond dust, which I'm doing, like dip it in the diamond dust and actually I have a little bit of mascara on already so I'm putting that actually on like I did a coat of mascara and then you put diamond dust on it and then you put more mascara and it like sticks like it allows the mascara to um like it makes your look at look at the difference you guys it's like i already had mascara on the other eye but it's sort of just like that glam i told you we weren't going to do glam but i love eyelashes i just love them so can you guys see the difference between that so i already had mascara on here right so that diamond dust can really give it that give it like a super cool boost you guys, the diamond dust is amazing. All right, let's talk about the kit. Um, you can buy the makeup individually. You can buy, well, the only thing you can't buy individually um, are those, are the brushes that come in the brush set. So that is, um, again, this like super flush, fluffy brush. Um, and then the two eye, two eyeshadow brushes and the um, blush brush and the I don't remember the blush brush the foundation oh the blush brush the foundation brush the two eyeshadow brushes and the big brush so those come in this makeup kit it's eighty dollars if you guys have bought any MAC um, brushes um, one of those is like forty five so you get five brushes that are gonna last you forever in this in this beautiful case and if you're on Essential Rewards, you're gonna get all sorts of points back. So if you don't know what Essential Rewards is, um, let me know and I will explain that to you. Okay, here is the beautiful, here's the, here's the beautiful kit. So Young Living has made it, like I said, you can buy tons of this makeup, all of this makeup individually, or you can buy a kit. And the beauty of the kit is you're gonna save like 50 bucks on um, the makeup. 
and then they've done all the work for you in selecting in general your colors and so they're broke the kit is broken out into four um, four different groups cool two warm two dark one and dark four okay so I've used warm two and so that um, they've done all the work for me look at how beautiful this kit is okay so the kit comes with the misting spray which is a must and the foundation brush so remember I told you those are like the two anchors you need those and then um, what is that the the foundation of course and then um, the is this the blush blush and then the lip gloss and then there's a second level so this is the first level you guys look at this and then three eyeshadows and a bottle of lavender oh because lavender is the best um so three eyeshadows so you're gonna get basically everything you need to start playing around with this makeup and getting um so it doesn't come with the diamond dust i would say that that's like a must because it's just super beautiful um and it it just makes um no i can see you carolyn it just makes a huge difference okay what is super cool is that they even include an instruction did i take it out they even include an instruction manual um in there so it actually talks about using it and contour oh, where did it go um like contouring and using the eyeshadows and how to use everything and so i'll post a picture of the different kits but I mentioned, so it's, um, the kit is $150, and again, it comes with the misting spray, it comes with the foundation brush, the foundation, three eyeshadows, a blush, a lip gloss, and then a little bottle of lavender. And then if you buy the kit, um, and you're not a, you get a membership too. So if you're not a member of Young Living, you want to be, because um, that gives you 24% off um, products forever. All you have to do is spend like 50 bucks a year or something to keep your membership but there's no like annual fee there's no monthly membership or anything so you can get your your chemical free makeup um, start with a kit and then you get that membership and then you can get oils and supplements and Ningxia Red and all the amazing things that Young Living offers but you guys when I went to convention they came out with makeup I was like uh, I don't know I don't know if this is gonna be good I really like my bare minerals but I knew what was in that and it's not good um, and so when I got it I just fell in love and I have never looked back and and you know what my daughter plays with it and I am so okay with that um, with I just think about all these teenagers that are starting to play with makeup and what it's doing to their bodies and it's just getting right into their bloodstream so um, if you don't wear makeup you know people that wear makeup um, you know it's just it's so important to take that next step and to start swapping that out. So start small if you want to, get a kit. Um, tonight, if you buy a kit in the next 48 hours, this is a special for non-members. Um, if you are a member of Young Living, you can, you can buy one kit and that is on quick order. So you guys can have a kit. Um, but for non-members, if um, you would like to buy a kit, you, I'm offering $10 off the kit. Um, in the next 48 hours so um, message me and I'll let you know how you can get that and then um, how am I gonna pick a winner I'm gonna pick a winner tonight all right so I will post who wins it your comments have entered you into um, I'm gonna be giving away lip gloss and that is a $25 value so I will pick a winner and then you get to pick whatever lip gloss you want all right uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. We're at the top of the hour. I'm super excited. We didn't lose a connection. I need to go somewhere. It's so, like, I can't just go to bed like this, right? I've got to go somewhere. <laughs> um, I'll stay on for a couple minutes if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for joining me. Good night. Get your kit. If you have your kit, show your kit to other people. It's amazing, you guys. I love this makeup. Okay. Mwah. Bye. Thanks for letting me play in front of you. <laughs> Casino! <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks, Amber. The lip glosses are amazing, Shay. Thanks, Rory. 
Good night, Teresa and Andrea. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. Yes, you need a kitten now, Jen. Now. <laughs> Bye, Amber. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> What? Oh, you're going to do makeup with me, Mandy? Yeah, it's what? Uh, midnight now. Oh, it's 11 for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Night, Shay. Night, Vicky. <laughs> you guys like the fake window in the back? That's a sticker. <laughs> Night, Mandy. <laughs> All right. Okay, no questions. Signing off.